In today's balloons video, we're being invaded by pirates. The Pirate King spawns randomly and gets more health as the game progresses. If the Pirate King gets through your defenses, he steals 20% of your gold. However, if you're able to defeat the Pirate King, he'll drop treasure chests filled with loot. In order to stop the Pirate King, we've upgraded Sada so that she's now a ranged hero that can throw her swords at the pirates. If I can survive against the pirates until I get Sada to level 20 and I'm able to afford a ninja paragon, apparently Sada will upgrade into something absolutely crazy. One thing that always cracks me up is when I'm like trying to continue my games, like continue save game round 1001. <sighs> I love this channel. All right, it's time to stop these pesky pirates, all right? Where do we, oh my gosh, Sada's ranged! I feel like that's such a good spot and her range just might go up eventually. So I think we'll, I'm gonna smack her down right here. Cause I mean, she's probably gonna have a village as well, right? So we just want her to have as much range as possible. So I'm about that. Oh, look, there's the pirates, the pirate balloons. No, get them out of here. Yo, she, that is so cool. Look at that, and then we can put that down. All right. I love this. I love this actually so much that Sada's just like destroying these balloons with the ranged attacks now. She just throws them. It's actually so good because it kind of cuts the balloons off there. It's like the boomerang monkey mix. The pirate balloons, we must stop them at all costs. We need to get Sada to level 20 and then we have to buy the ninja paragon because apparently something happens to Sada. Oh my gosh, there's the pirate ship. Stop it. Pop it. Sada. Oh, thank you. A present. Wait, it gave me a full fledged. No, take it out. Take it out, no, another present. Oh, here, what do we put a free dart monkey down? All right, let's get triple shot, long range, pop it, pop it, no! Oh no, it's gonna get by, my money, no! Oh, I lost $900, and then what's that? Oh, it gave me 1400, so it actually worked out. So it gave me a free monkey ace. Oh, another one, holy cow, it's coming out of nowhere! Oh my gosh, a free sniper monkey? Thank you. Another treasure chest. A free mortar. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many free towers. All right, I don't need that. Mortar monkey? Sure, why not? We'll set that over there. It's just giving me free towers. We'll definitely take that. All right, we're, we need to put down a banana farm. That's what I need. We need to start working on getting some money because, oh my gosh, getting a ninja paragon is going to be expensive. We also want to make sure that our money is in our investments at all times because imagine if like a banana, not a banana farm, a pirate gets by because it's 25% of our money, right? So like, you know, we have a thousand dollars, whoop de doo you take $250, right? But if I have like, you know, a million dollars in my bank and I'm not paying attention, that's $250,000 he just takes like that. Oh, another one, another one, I'm not ready for this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Spaghetti-O, can we do more damage to it? You, target strong. He attacked, oh, another one, more ice monkey. Oh, we popped it, nice, that's huge. Okay, wait, it get, oh, that's the reset ability button. That allows us to use our ability and then just immediate, oh wait, we have two ability reset buttons. That's a lot of abilities that we can just reset. I might just hold on to them, you know? Being a pirate, I used to be like, yo, being a pirate would be so cool. Being a pirate would not be cool. There's a, there's a bunch of cool videos that on it, but like being a real pirate back in the day would, would have been like big booty butt cheeks. That's what it would have been like to be an act. Oh, oh my gosh, what's this? Yo, that's like a special, like, look at this. This crate looks different. Is it like a legendary crate? $10,000 and it gave me, what? Oh my gosh, it gave me a double T5, what? What? I got $10,000 and an instant double T5 ultra boost tower. So it gave me a plasma monkey fan club, crossbow master and razor sharp shots. That's busted. And again, I have a banana research facility now. That Pirate King was carrying such valuable equipment on it. Holy cow. So apparently, if we defeat the Pirate King, it has a chance to drop like a legendary T5 thing for us. Okay, we can get rid of this. We don't need all these people. I'm gonna just sell most of these things. Why? Because one, I kind of want Sada to just like go crazy on these people. Okay, how are we ever supposed to lose when it gives us a dart monkey that bonkers? Like, look at this thing. Yeah, I see you later. I kind of want to level Sada up as much as much as much as possible. Oh, another one. Get him. Yeah, there we go. I like when it gives us money. I mean, of course, I'm going to like when it gives us money. That makes me, of course, obviously. All right, I need, can I put another banana? We'll put another banana farm right here. Thank you. Banana research facility. Thank you. And another marketplace. All right. Now the question is, do I keep the dart monkey or do I, oh my gosh, I have eight free 
ability resets. You guys want to see something awesome? Watch this. I can't put this. I can't put that guy down. What's going to give us something like a lot of money? Wait. Monkeynomics. That's $100,000. And that's... I think that's I think that's the way we make a lot of money. Let's get the monkey nomics because it gives you the ability for free. And we have eight reset abilities. So if we click on this button, it literally instantly resets every single ability that we have. Every single one of them. All right, this guy's too powerful. Wait, wait, he only has 4,000 pops. He actually does not have that many pops. I'm trying to save up because I want Banana Central. The one problem with this map is you can't put anything down anywhere. Who would have thought that on a water map you have to place mostly water towers? That's absolutely preposterous. Okay, I need one more pontoon because this one, I want to try something. I basically just want to make this the bank, right? So let's all upgrade that all the way to Monkeynomics and then I can get the marketplace. I guess I can also do that because that'll make us some money. And so now we have the ability, right? So refresh, look at that. So 12, 12K, 12,000. 12, I'm just resetting the abilities. Wait, it won't let me use it. Oh, there we go. Boop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, collect. Okay. I don't know why it won't let me. Oh, there's only a certain number of times you can use the ability in a round. That's why. So it won't let you use the ability multiple times, which, okay, I understand. That makes sense. I think that'd be, that would be a little bit ridiculous if you could just like use the ability an infinite amount of times. Because since it's on a timer, you could just make a farm or like a regrow farm and then just get infinite money. I guess I'll just keep this bank out here and then use it anytime I get like an ability reset, right? Might as well just get double money. So now we have $200,000. It's time for us to get, it's time for us to wait. Let's get Sada to max level first because I want Sada to be the main, the main, the main showcase here. Can I put a, I can't put, a, are you kidding me? I can't put a village here. All right. Well, that's, all right. Well, that's kind of. That's that's not ideal that I can't put a village there. So I'm gonna sell this bad boy. We have five hundred thousand dollars, so I'm pretty okay with that. Now we can put a village here, bigger radius. Jungle drums, Sada has that. Radar scanner, MIB. Alright, Sada's ready to go. And now let's max out Sada and get Sada to level uh, literally just all the way to level 20. And look at her range! Sada's got some range on her now. All right, there we go. Now we have max Sada that's ready to go. So ability, ability, ability. Oh wait, I can't. I have to wait. Ah, I have to wait for the round to end. All right, now it's time for our ninjas, though. So we have one ninja, two ninja, and three ninja. So there's our three ninjas that we can start upgrading to get them ready to get level 20. And we need to get the ninja paragon. All right, and this guy, this level is up to the bottom path. All right, ascended shadow. We need $648,000. So this sells for 121. That's enough money. All right, everyone. It's time to get the max level Sada to fight the pirate army. If you enjoyed this video so far and you want to see more, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Okay, so let's sell the banana farm, sell the banana farm. Now we're going to sell the banana farm. We have so much money. And now, my friends, so if we upgrade to Ascended Shadow, something apparently is supposed to happen to Sada. I'm ready. I'm ready, okay? Ascended Shadow. Boom. Yo, she turned red. What? Look at her range now. Holy cow, she shoots red swords. Okay, I don't need this guy anymore because okay, well, she's broken. She's OP. What about the abilities? Wait, look at that. Her ability. She shoots lightning now. Wait, what about her sword? Wait, her sword just puts flaming swords anywhere on the ground, and she doesn't even leave. Okay, that's insane. That's absolutely bonkers. How powerful is she? We're only on round 60. Let's let's send some rounds. You know what I just... Oh, we got another! What's this? Look at this. We got another T5. The glue gunner. A super glue T5. That's actually awesome. And remember, we have the reset ability. So we can actually use the reset ability. Watch, we can do this. And then we can do it twice. Look. Oh, yeah. And now we'll just use the ability again. Because we have the reset for it. That's awesome! Where's, all right, let's see it. Let's see it. Wait, is the B... Oh, there's the BAD. Reset abilities. All right, we're going to put that down. All right. Go, Sada. Blast it. Yo, let's go! Oh. Oh, come on, Sada. That was awesome! Cash generated 1.2 million dollars. It is our money, okay? Balloons are not stealing it today. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and most importantly, thanks for being you. You're awesome. I appreciate you.